Richard Nathaniel Wright was born on September 4, 1908, on Roker's Plantation, a farm near Roxy, Mississippi. He was the first child of Nathan Wright and Ella Wilson. All of his four grandparents had been born in slavery. Wright's father, a sharecropper, was born shortly before 1880, son of Nathaniel Wright, a free slave who farmed a plot of land he had given at the end of the Civil War. His mother, Ella Wilson Wright, was a school teacher. Wright's brother, Leon Allen, is born in September 24, 1910. During 1911 through 1912, Wright's mother is unable to care for her children while working on the farm. She takes Wright and his brother to live with the Wilson family in Natchez. His father rejoins the family and finds work at a sawmill. At the age of four, Wright sets his grandmother's house on fire accidentally while he was bored. The family moves to Memphis, Tennessee by a steamboat called K. Adams due to extreme poverty. Wright's father deserts the family to live with another woman, leaving them impoverished. His mother falls seriously ill in early 1916 and their grandmother comes to care for the family. Wright's mother then puts him and his brother in the settlement house, Methodist Orphanage, where they stay over a month. Uncle Silas is murdered by whites and the family flees to West Helena, Arkansas. On May 29, 1925, he graduates as a valedictorian and rejects graduation speech prepared by the principal and delivers his own, The Attributes of Life. Spurred by author H.L. Mencken, he begins to read American naturalist writers. Wright with Aunt Maggie moves to the south side of Chicago. In 1928, he is joined by his mother and brother again. He begins to work in the Chicago post office but fails the medic exam due to undernourishment. In 1929, Richard passes the Postal Service physical and returns to work. Chicago's South Side sinks into the Great Depression and Richard's hours are cut at the post office. His mother suffers relapse, Aunt Cleopatra has a heart attack, and his brother develops stomach ulcers. His short story, Superstition, is published in April about its monthly magazine. However, the African-American-owned magazine fails before Richard is paid. Richard joins the Chicago John Reed Club in 1933 and writes revolutionary poetry for Left Front. He's elected as executive secretary of the Chicago John Reed Club. In 1935, Wright tries to sell his first novel, Law Today, but is rejected over the next two years. Wright is hired by the Federal Writers Project to help research the history of Illinois and of the Negroes in Chicago. Wright then publishes Transcontinental, a six-page poem influenced by Whitman and Louis Aragon in January International Literature. He also publishes the story Big Boy Leaves Home and it appears in Anthology, The New Caravan. In 1937, he moves to New York to write for the Daily Worker. His Fire and Cloud story won first prize of $500 con in a contest sponsored by Story Magazine. Uncle Tom's Children appears and receives good reviews. In 1939, Wright meets Ellen Poplar and, and considers to marry her until he meets Dehema Rose Meadman. Native Son is published in 1940 and becomes a bestseller. In Native Son, the lead character of Bigger Thomas represents limitations that society placed on African Americans. He could only gain his agency and self knowledge by committing terrible acts. In 1940, he visits his father but is unable to make anything other than a token reconciliation with him. In January of 1941, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People awards Wright the Spingarn Medal. In the same year of 1941, Wright married Ellen Poplar in Coitusville, New Jersey.
on March 12th. On April 15, 1942, Wright's first child, Julia, is born. Wright also withdraws from the Communist Party without publicity. Wright's break with Communist Party becomes public with the publication of I Tried to Be a Communist in the Atlantic Monthly and The Man Who Lived Underground, published in Cross Section in 1944. In 1945, Black Boy is published in March and receives excellent reviews and becomes bestseller. Black Boy is an autobiographical that describes Richard Wright's journey from innocence to experience in the Jim Crow South. It remains in our history about what it means to be a man, black and southern in America. Wright travels to France in May as a guest of the French government in 1946. He is well received by French intellectuals and stays until December. Wright encounters continuing racism when returning to New York in 1947. Wright, Ellen, and Julia return to Paris. On January 17, 1949, a second daughter is born, Rochelle. Wright travels to Rome and Switzerland for the publication of Black Boy. Wright also writes the film version of Native Son and travels to Buenos Aires for filming. Wright leaves Buenos Aires in July and spends two weeks in Haiti. The film is later shown in Buenos Aires, New York, Venice, and elsewhere during the year of 1950. In February 1952, Wright travels to England and spends several months in London and Catford, Surrey, completing the first full version of The Outsider. The Outsider is published by Harper and Brothers in March 1953. The Outsider describes an African-American character's involvement with the Communist Party in New York. It is a complex tale of crime and politics, shows the influence of French existentialist philosophical theory as filtered through Wright's unmistakable prose. On September 16, 1954, the FBI and State Departments interview Wright in Paris about his relationship to the Communist Party when he goes to renew his passport. He publishes Black Power and Savage Holiday. In 1956, The Color Curtain, a report on the Bangdung Conference, is published in English on March, having appeared in French three months earlier. Aunt Maggie dies January 20th, in Jackson, Mississippi, where she had been taking care of Wright's mother. Pag in Spain, published by Harper in February, to good reviews but weak sales. On October 15, 1957, White Man Listen is published by Double Play. Wright finishes The Long Dream, and it's published in October. He begins Island of Hallucination, sequel set in France. Wright's mother died January 14, 1959. He sends the manuscripts of Island of Hallucinations to Reynolds in February. The Long Dream opens on Broadway, February 17, 1960, to poor views and closes within a week, but well received in France. On November 28, 1960, Richard Nathaniel Wright dies of a heart attack shortly before 11 p.m. He is buried along with a copy of Black Boy at the Pierre Lachaise Cemetery, December 3rd, where his ashes are interred.